Welcome back guys, Jacob Hesser with NextGen. I'm here with Ryan D'Souza, Cisco Live Network Operations Center architect. Ryan, it's a pleasure having you with us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for meeting up with us here. And if you want to go ahead and give us a description of the gear we have here in the Network Operations Center and kind of what's going on in the Cisco Live now. Absolutely, yeah. We start over here on the left side, my left side. Um, we have the four, four routers right here. We have a pair of Nexus 7706 routers. Um, they connect all our distributions. So they have three distributions. Um, they connect three different properties. They connect the Mandalay Bay, the MGM, and the Palacio. Oh, wow. Um, the Mandalay Bay is a set of 6807XLs with quad soup 60s. Uh, we have quad 40 gig connections from the Mandalay Bay distribution that terminate here in the middle of the four. four times 40 gig. Four times 40 gig. Nice. Yes. Um, the MGM distribution is a 6840, also a VSS. We have quad 40 gig connections that terminate here in the middle of the The Lasho distribution is a 3850 stack, also for uh, dual 40 gig connections. Uh, the Nexus core is uh, protected by its own set of firewalls. We have the Firepower 9300 with SM44 blades. Uh, we have two chassis, but we're running them in the chassis clustering, so it's one large unit. Okay. From the from the Nexus going to the Firepower, we have dual 100 gig lines. Wow. Um, from the Firepower, we are traffic routes to the uh, ASR over here. We have two ASR 99 roads. Um, Need two 100 gigs and two 10 gig connections from our partner Century. Okay. So all our attendees have 220 GBPS worth of bandwidth available. 220 gigabits per second on the WAN. On the WAN. On the WAN. On the WAN. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> So our wireless LAN controllers over here, uh, we have the 8540 wireless LAN controllers. Uh, this year, we actually did not deploy any poles of our own. If you've been to Cisco Live before, you may have seen access points of poles in the hallways, the breakout rooms. This year, we did not do that. We integrated directly with the venue. Um, we connected into their distribution and them into us. And they basically moved the access points over from their controller onto ours. Oh. And then back at the end of the show, we just moved it back to them. That saved a lot of work for the Dream it Team, right? It did save a lot of work, <laughs> yes. So no cabling, no goals, no spikes. So it right. saved a lot of work. Um, so yes, the 8540 controllers, they have 40 gig connections as well. Um, moving on here, we have two racks for our data center. The data center switches are a pair of Nexus 7004s and BPC. They have their own set of firewalls that protect the, the, the data center. It's pretty similar to the main firewall there. It's a Nexus uh, 5 power 9300 in inter-chassis clustering, so again, one large one here. Uh, the firepower uplinks to the, the core, again using quad 40 gig connections. So we, we move power from 10 gig and getting 40 gig and 100 gig ready. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, all our virtual infrastructure lives on the UCS 5108. We have P200 M4 blades. Uh, they connect to our fabric interconnect that has 40 gig connections back into the Nexus. Um, we have about 100 terabytes of available storage to us provided by our partner NetApp. And you actually use a lot of that storage space here. We do, yes. Yes. We haven't hit 100 terabytes yet, but we will get there eventually. Gotcha. Yeah. So you have a lot of VMs running on this UCS chassis, right? Yeah, we have close to 100. VMs, right? 100 virtual machines. So you're running things like ICE and whatnot as well. Like a yeah, lot of the Cisco VMs. Our, our DNS servers, our cache and DNS servers inside our virtual environments, the DSCG servers, Cisco Prime Infrastructure, uh, Cisco Vision as well, and like you mentioned, ICE. So we have a lot of VMs, some performance tools, and some monitoring tools as well. Right, and I noticed over here, Ryan, you guys have a lot of stuff that is displaying from yeah. is displaying information from the servers, right? All these dashboards are live network dashboard so yeah this information is all about the network and what's happening right now this is our topology the, the logical drawing uh, up here on this screen is all the adapting DNS and the ECP packets see more stats on here as well, but we, we have surpassed about 60 terabytes of traffic totally. Oh yeah, I saw that up there earlier. That's, yeah. You were waiting for that screen to pop yeah, up. Yeah, I was hoping to see those. But yes, this is our uh, line distribution by SSID. 
wireless is huge at Cisco Live. Yeah, we've uh, we got about 18,000 peak simultaneous users of wireless systems. 18,000 peak? And we've seen about 35,000 plus uh, unique MAC addresses on the wireless. Wow. Uh, over here we have an uh, umbrella that's uh, protecting the network for DNS. So you can see the number of requests and the number of blocked texts. Uh, this is uh, the five power threat defense, the firewall that we were talking about earlier. So you can see we've blocked about 35,000 URL malware attempts already. Wow. They've blocked 35,000 malware attempts. You see all that right there on the dashboard. Over here we have Cisco CMX, um, so what you see right here is a map of Cisco campus only. Um, all the connected clients and all the available clients. And this is some analytics on Cisco campus right now. Awesome stuff. Now this is really cool, Ryan. Thank Absolutely. you so much for allowing us to come here and talk with you. Glad to do it. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Jacob Hess here. Thank you guys for viewing the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you that if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our Career Blueprint and Engineer Training Program at www.zerotoengineer.com.